let's look at a key case which created the niche land tort named after the case Rylands and Fletcher. This case was heard in 1868. The defendant in this case, Rylands, owned a water mill and they contracted um, builders to construct a reservoir on their property. Rylands then maintained the reservoir. Water broke out of the reservoir and escaped on to the claimant's neighbouring mine and this caused damage to their property. This had occurred because the bottom of the reservoir had been sealed carelessly by the contractors so that when it filled, water leaked into the mine shafts below and escaped into the claimant's mines and this caused considerable damage. The fact that there has been mines at the property was unknown to the defendants and it was negligently overlooked by the contractors. In this case, it was seen that the um, water mill owners were liable to the mine owners. It was seen that a person who, for their own purpose, brings onto their land and collects and keeps there anything which is likely to do mischief if it escapes, and in this case that was seen to be the large volume of water, they must keep it at their peril, and if they don't do so, then they are answerable for all damage which occurs if this item escapes. This is exactly what had happened here with the water escaping onto the neighbouring property and causing considerable damage.